Hello everyone, this is case study number four uh, and the uh, title of this case study is it Balancing or Structural Resonance or Looseness. Uh, actually, I, uh, I posted uh, this case study on the LinkedIn but I prefer to make it as um, a video so it can be recorded in one place and if anyone looking for it, it will be easy for him to find it in the, uh, in the YouTube. Uh, this was uh, a seal air uh, fan and um, I carried out fan balancing the uh, for this fan um, when I did the vibration measurements and the amplitude and phase uh, I put my reflective tape I put the sensors I start to take the vibration reading and I found that the vibration levels was 9 millimeter per second at the fan drive end in the horizontal and 6 millimeter per second RMS on the fan non drive end and the horizontal direction as well and when I start to measure the vertical direction, the vibration levels was 0.9 and 0.5 for both bearings and the dominant vibration was at the running speed component 1x the thing is, one of the main uh, ways to distinguish between unbalance and uh, structural looseness is uh, that in unbalance you will see the vibration will be high on the radial direction which means like the vibration will be in the horizontal and vertical direction as well but the vibration level in the horizontal will be like double or maximum triple the vibration in the vertical because the uh, effect of the centrifugal force will, should affect on the horizontal and vertical direction as well but in this case like the vibration levels was really high on the horizontal and very tiny in the vertical and this sus like make you suspect it is it's it's not pure unbalanced it might have like some structure uh, looseness but what i thought about at this condition why not that you have some amount of residual imbalance and this residual imbalance is affecting the structure and make it more uh, like let's say moving in the horizontal direction and uh, this because of the flexibility of the of the structure in the horizontal so I thought okay I will start to do balancing I will I will see what will happen I will put like a correction weight or a trim weight or a trial weight and I will see my my chances if I would be able to improve the vibration or drop it a little bit and this is the machine you have like the the motor the uh, the coupling the two bearings and this is the inspection window um, in such a case I thought about dropping the vibration as much as I can I suspect that the fan have some residual imbalance as the main source of uh, this vibration and if we reduce the vibration at the 1x this will help to improve the machine condition um, as you see the sensor and tackle arrangement there is two sensors one on the drive end one on the non drive end both in the horizontal direction I put my reflective tape on the shaft and this is my tackle I uh, prepared some uh, balancing weights uh, asked the technician to cut them for me and mark the number how many grams uh, then we start to put the the weights we start to weld it uh, weight added to the fan uh, we added trial weight at the beginning the vibration levels increased little bit then we remove this trial weight and we add the correction weight then the vibration levels drop to 2.3 and 2.9 at both the drive end and non drive end of the fan and uh, the vertical direction was almost the same it doesn't change at all and this was confirming that you have uh, some structure uh, looseness and the problem is not pure imbalance and um, like it was like 12 blades uh, this is like balancing calculations I will not go uh, uh, into this here uh, we can discuss this in the uh, in the balancing videos uh, but what what happened is I added like 80 grams vibration levels increased slightly then I removed this 80 grams and they add 45 grams and vibration levels drop, drop to point 2.3 and 2.8 in the drive and non-drive and what happened next is when I tried to trim the machine the vibration level start to increase a bit in the in the uh, in the vertical direction so I know that's my limitation I cannot go more and uh, yeah that's all for today that uh, that some uh, structure resonance or looseness problems it can be rectified or can be improved by doing balancing for for the uh, for the machine and uh, yeah that's all um, if you like the video please like leave your comments I would like to hear your comments uh, subscribe and share and thanks for watching